in the previous episode. Jackson Neville, aka Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. Ah. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. You scare me. <sighs> okay. We're partners. We're partners. <gasps> Your call is lost, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. <gasps> oh my god. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the oh, hell out of here. Oh shit. I'm taking you home. This is getting way uh, too dangerous. Yes. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a I like how she talks. Stop the fucking car! Hey! Miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Nice. Don't worry. Hold hands. Yeah. Good job, Scott Shelby. Scott Shelby! <laughs> How's it going, man? My name. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Heavy Rain. We're coming close to the ending of this. Um, I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I hope I don't fuck up too much. But yeah, let's check what we got in here. Hey, cracker! What you doing in there? That guy looks friendly. I'm not a cracker. No, I'm a Jaden. FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. Alright. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. Oh. Uh -huh. I got a real bad memory for names. He scares me. I'm scared. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for... Uh-huh. You're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie. Ooh, boy. that's not gonna be good for you, girl. Oh no! You trying to scare me with your big talk? Please don't hit me. I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. You're just jealous because I have hair and you don't have any. Hope you didn't hear that. Okay. Let's investigate. I don't trust this guy. Alright, let's get on with the evidence, as my papa always said. He never said that. Ah, oh, and what do we have? Blood. Now why is there blood here? I can think of a couple of reasons. Alright, let's follow where the blood is going. What is this? What is that? No shit. Dead end. Da, da, da. Oh! One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. But I don't have any friends. I solder up his little mouth. Hey, don't touch my nipples. They're really sensitive. God damn it. I gotta put Hands on, on your that. head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight. And just don't you shoot. Off. I love life and my hair. Wish you don't have any of Circle! Haha! -ha, works every time, bitch. I re I just- I- I'm playing with two seconds delay. Okay, not two seconds, but at least like half a second. See, I can't hit all of them. Up! Yes! X! Oh, left! Left! Down! Yes! Bitch! Ah, oh, fuck. Ow, oh, that hurts a lot! Come on. What you got? I, I, I don't got... Ah! Oh, barrels! Nice gun barrels! Ah. Well, 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 I'm well. I'm fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. I don't even think that's possible. I never tried, so I don't know. Alright, let me hit you. Fuck yeah. Broke my fucking nose, pig! That's what you get for humping barrels. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Oh, Spill that's fine. All of it. Your move. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. FBI! Gasoline. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Them Shit, gas man, tanks. Don't mess with them the gasoline. Barrel. Well, oh, I mess with the barrels. Accident. 
Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't really be able to talk, will you, Jack? Yeah, will you, Jack? Crazy motherfucker. You yeah, I'm a crazy. Man? I'm a crazy motherfucker. I don't know Sorry. about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Ah. Get him a new one with false plates. Ah. He paid cash. And ah. I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Paco? That's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Oh. Anything. Oh. oh. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Uh, not a problem. I'll just have to get my crypto cane. <laughs> ah! What? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God I, bless America. I I want that. <laughs> Ow! Now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five O. Permanently. Oh shit. Oh, fuck me! We're fucked! It's actually not a bad idea. Come on, man, we can die now. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, stop that! Drop compartment. Oh, some music, that's lovely. Hava! Ho! Oh. Get the gun here! Get the gun here! Get the gun here! Whoa! And shoot! Oh shit! We're coming close! <laughs> Did I die? No, I'm alive! Oh shit! Get up, Norman Jaden, FBI. Come on. He's my favorite character. He can't die. Up. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I made it anyway, apparently. No more fucking up, Harry. I know it's frustrating, but it's more frustrating for me. Fuck it. Oh, no. Circle. Ow, I made it. I don't know how. Triangle. No! Ah, that hurts so much! Ah! Yes! Circle! No! Please make it! Please make it! I'm gonna cry! Yes! Ha! No! Yes! Oh, come on! Ow! <laughs> He's so evil! Did I die? Did I die? What am I? I. Uh, what was I supposed to do there? I. I. Maybe he's still alive. I think you just knocked him out. I don't fucking remember. I I'm gonna be pissed if he's dead. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. Who? And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. I don't he's think it's Kramer. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? 
Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. Well, we can... I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Yeah, I'll cook you uh, something. I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Do you like scrambled Greg, eggs? I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? <laughs> I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. All right. Let's see. How do you make scrambled eggs? I think you need eggs. Pretty sure. Ah, we got eggs. Let's take them up. I really hope he's not dead. Really hope he's not dead. Okay, next step. You take a plate. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Sticks, panna. And then we crack it a proper. This is actually a major impact on the story. If you fail up this omelette or scrambled eggs, you're done for. Uh, so I, I'm really gotta focus here. Um, so, oh shit, circle. Oh my god, so many. Oh shit. Okay. Let's put out the heat a little bit. Circle in the other direction. Looks pretty nice. Circle it some more because we all love circles. They're nice and symmetric. Or let's wait a little bit. Let's sneak on her in the shower. <laughs> Just kidding. Is it burning now? I should be ready by now. All right. Fair enough. That does not seem that good. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Oh, hello. Looks better on you. Haha. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Our genitals have been at the same spot. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. <gasps> oh, no. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Okay. Uh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross check them with uh. the list, the list of subscribers to Origami magazines, you still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. Okay. If That's the it. killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. That's a pretty good assumption. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. All right. Ah. Come on, you can... Oh, hello, cleavage. Yay! They got the killer. The only right. guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. All right. 
You never give up, do you? She's pretty good. I mean, she's a better detective than he is. Let's see. Daryl Allen. I wish I had some kind of system. Hey, look. Oh, I found it. I found it. Hell yeah. And there's origami there. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Not really. He subscribed to origamis. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. Uh huh. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October. Oh, we're finally gonna find out, huh? And the next episode! <laughs> 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 I can feel it if you enjoy. Subscribe, give me a red today, and I'll see you next episode. Bye, everybody. Love you, bro.